<laughs> What's going on guys? Victor here from Landshark Fishing TV and in today's video I'm going to show you guys an amazing yellowtail snapper recipe with mandarin salsa. Alright, so first we're going to make our salsa and you can just buy canned or these plastic packaged mandarins at Publix or wherever you guys may shop. A tomato, red onion, and cilantro right over there. That's what's going to be going in our salsa. So once we get this all chopped up, chopped up, we're going to show you guys what it looks like, okay? So we'll see you in the next clip. So I got my cilantro chopped up, red onions, tomatoes, and the mandarins. I did three little packages of mandarins, chopped them up into little pieces. Now I'm going to take an even amount of each ingredient, put it into our salsa bowls, which are nice little watermelon shapes. Okay, now the mandarins. And everything here just looks and smells so good. It's a very visually appealing dish. Now we got our red onions. You don't want to put too many of these in here because red onions have a very strong flavor and a lot of people don't like raw onion. Okay, and then last, cilantro. Same thing with the cilantro, not too much guys because cilantro also has a really strong flavor. So don't go overboard with the cilantro or the red onion. Get some salt. This is nice sea salt. Put it right in there. Just like that. And then this is a little bit of the juice from the mandarins that I'm gonna pour right into our salsa. Get it nice and juicy. And then the last thing that we're gonna put in here is sesame oil. Sesame oil, unlike olive oil, it has a really good fragrant taste and it's gonna go really good with this salsa. So about a tablespoon in each of these. Just like that. It's gonna thicken up the salsa a little bit. There we go. Want a little stir, just like that. And these are gonna be used for our yellowtail tacos from the yellowtails that we caught last night. Me and Brick got 16. We would have had our limit, but we had to run away from a storm. Give it a nice mix. And then when you're eating your tacos, you just put these in each one of them. How's it smell, Brooke? It smells really good. Doesn't it? That sesame oil smells really good. All right, so here's our nice yellowtail fillets that we caught last night. They're all prepped up. Brooke did the honors of fine tuning them. He's got no bones in them now. So now I'm gonna take my sesame oil and when you blacken something, you want to coat it in oil or butter first, and then you put your seasoning on, and then you don't have any oil or butter in the pan. You just put it straight on, and you cook it really fast on medium-high heat. So I'm just going to take some sesame oil and put it over my fillets, and I'm just going to rub them in just like this with my hands, get down and dirty. So now that I got my yellowtail fillets lathered up in the sesame oil, now they got something to stick to. So now I'm going to take blackened seasoning, which you can buy at the store, and you're going to put it right on top of the fillets. Be generous with this. It's going to give it a nice brown coating. And just one by one, as I coat them, I'm going to put them straight into the pan, and you're going to hear them sizzle. If you hear them sizzling, that's good. That means your pan's hot enough. And you want to cook these pretty fast. They're only going to be about a minute to two minutes on each side. These are pretty thin fillets. And you don't need any oil in the pan because you already coated your fillets with sesame oil. So one to two minutes on each side and you get that nice brown layer just like that when you blacken them. Okay, you don't want to overcook these. Yellowtail fillets are thin. They cook relatively in a short amount of time. You don't want to dry out fish. A lot of people dry out their fish and it's because they cook it way too long. Fish is not like any other meat. It cooks pretty fast, especially these thin fillets like this. Taking my yellowtails out of the pan. They've been in there probably for about four minutes, two minutes on each side. They got that nice brown layer. They're gonna go really well with our tacos. And that blackening season's got a little bit of spice and heat and it's gonna pair really well with the cooling down effect of the ma uh, mandarin salsa. Here's our final product. What do you think, Brian? Oh man, my mouth is watering. I'm ready to dribble Look over the plate. Look at that. <clears throat> nice taco. Look with at that. Oh man. Lettuce, salsa, fish. Beautiful. We got some sour cream, some cheese. We got Brooks Grandma. 
She's the blue crab slayer. She's the one who provides all our blue, blue crabs for our dinners. I'll see you guys in the next video.